How's it guys? Yeah, we had an epic morning here, actually the whole day. We landed the seven fish so far. This is the eighth one, my brother Niva Naika. Today's guy ambassador, he's on here. And uh, I needed some mullet here on the surf. And he drone dropped the mullet out. It's a small mullet. And he got pulled flat. That It screamed off. It really screamed off. And uh, yeah, he's fishing light line. It's actually a sliding setup. That we actually drone a bait out on. And we were hoping to get an edible and not a non edible. But uh, yeah, looks like a decent flatfish. We've been on for about half an hour already. Uh, in that time, uh, Niroshin and myself got uh, two diamonds out. So, yeah, the diamonds were wild today. We managed to get one grey and the rest were all diamonds. We lost one big, uh, uh, what you call it, ribbon tail, right in the front. Unfortunately, the leader hit the sand and it cut. So yeah, but we had to fish in the, in the back watch. But the event's on, doing well. Let's get this fish out. Alright guys, after a long lengthy fight, unfortunately the shark went into the bricks here and uh, cut us off. It looked like it was a zambi. We saw the fins and everything. It looked like a zambi. Can't actually say 100% it was. Well, for what we could identify, it did look like a zambi. Yeah, unfortunate on there. Let's put more baits on and see if we can get something else. But yeah, let's get a bit out of here. coming out in the bay there, the locals are catching there and I've had some smaller bites but it doesn't look like shad because I can see on the foam so I'm hoping for one of those bigger edibles or a nice cob here at the back of the bank on the fresh side with this brown water um, the men just lost their zambi there we, as we got here, they were here the whole day we got here very late and they managed to get a couple of uh, diamonds on drone and then the Zambezi on a live mullet and early this morning some smaller grey sharks so yeah we arrived a bit late I didn't bring anything to, to drone with because I was quite keen just putting a sardine in this bay on the bank but with the shad there now I'm fishing more to the right I'm just putting it over the bank because the tide should turn now Guys and girls, um, what's today's date? 9th of uh, June. Yesterday was a no show with the sardines, uh, but uh, Kumara and them, and his brother, Naveen, they spent some time here in Sharks Bay and got some really good fish. They got, uh, I think, six diamonds, the Zambi they dropped on the side, two smaller greys. So they had good fun here with the drone. Uh, I came late and I had a few throws here on the bank, got two really nice bites, which uh, felt like stumpy bites uh, on fresh sardine. So I'm putting out that as well this morning. I don't see any shad. The water is, I think, a bit low this morning because it was about half past three this morning. It was uh, high, springtime. So I'm just going to throw out the front here. If a shad picks me up, I don't have a shad trace on, but we'll hopefully strike him soon enough and we can slide him out as a live bait. Um, we're going to fish for edibles mainly today. There has been the guys that's put out live bait here got bitten off the water, still very discolored. It's looking a bit better today. Hopefully there's some action on the sardines as well. But a beautiful morning, a nice cold land breeze coming through here. You can probably pick that up. And uh, yeah, just going to take the 12 foot saltist and uh, put a fresh sardine on a 5 0 hook and it just throw the front here. Uh, whatever bites I got yesterday should move in this area as well and uh, hopefully there's a cobby still early morning swimming around we'll keep you up to date until we've got some news with the sods this is what we're going to keep ourselves busy with this normally starts from half past eight nine if there's any action 
so I'll watch the live updates make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notifications then you'll receive the live updates or any videos we upload you'll get a notification through this time it's great to be in the loop of what's happening and we've got a fantastic network with Jason everybody and all the ambassadors that uh, gets us information quite quickly and uh, gives us the privilege to share it with you guys quite quickly so thanks for all the support on our channel thanks for subscribing and uh, yeah let's get a bite in the water I'm talking too much a meal. It's a good size but I don't know why it's breathing like that. Check where it's hooked. But it's just breathing. Yo. Small bait, you don't get your line damage for the shad. That's why I'm fishing a smaller bait targeting a smallish cob or a stumpy and then you put the foam on so that helped a bit three time of foam just for carrying hook and a 10 o J in the back through the top lip he's gonna give you hassles he's gonna bite watch your fingers and then this one we'll put in there like that Quickly reel in my other rod. some line so it managed to turn around and take a dip behind the lip and my main line touched the sand um, under pressure so it just popped uh, so you win some you lose some it's a stupid lose the only reason I'm so far right 
So it went back to try and go around that rock and into that rip. So I had to move it a bit right first. As you can see, this current pushes into the bay and it moves out. So he had that in his favor. And my unfitness is also in his favor. <laughs> but uh, that's not why the fish bought. There's a bit of broken reef in the water here. You can see it now on the low. So I think it might have hooked. My main line might have just touched one of those rocks, which I didn't suspect. So I've got a solid lead on, a 1.5 mil, down to 85, 0.85. Um, but yeah, it's a pity this rips. Current so strong here in the front because it kept on keeping him there by the by the rocks. But we'll try again. This gent put a live bait out just after mine now. And he went on, but he's on nylon. So we're holding thumbs, it's a good edible. It's gone in here, one on one with a KP, um, which is an awesome way to fight a nice fish. Only problem is the guy's casting here, so that fish, they know to go for that rock because there's a rip next to the rock that they use in their favor. And then also, obviously everything from the beach comes across here and out there, so you're fighting the current and the fish. But. Uh, Patience and hoping no one casts over you. Buzz unfortunately as he had it just slightly left and uh, nipped the bricks as well there. Sad story. The pity it looked like a very good fish and on nylon. So it could have been a really good cob or something. Um, did you feel any head shakes, Buzz? Which one? Head shakes? Not really. Only when it took off, yes. Only yeah, when it took yeah, off. Yeah. What do you think it was? I'll, I'll be honest, I'll be right. Uh, it's, it's difficult to say this time of the year as well. <laughs> it could be anything. Yeah, so there are fish guys in all these areas where there's a bit of dirty water and you get a shad or two, put them out. Um, if you don't want to catch sharks, put them on nylon. 50-50 um, chance you're getting teeth or not. But uh, there are fish around, definitely. Since yesterday morning, um, these areas have produced some really good fish and as I said Margaret here yesterday and the day before and I'm sure today again there are some fish around uh, Yeah, maybe I must uh, try for another shed and put one out Okay guys look at this um, Kumaran from Alpha Omega the Chint agents of KZN Chint Electric did us some ASFN caps, Chint, Alpha Omega. Thanks, Kumaran. They're awesome. They're really, really high quality caps. So, very chuffed with them. Uh, I use a different drop loop, so I'm just gonna. I've cut an event's drop loop open or oh, off. Only thing I have a problem with having a, a monofilament is if that gets stuck somewhere. I see he uses a thin one, so you know it would probably break off, but I prefer the rubber band and that will definitely break off. So yeah, this uh Saragosa, the older one. The one people still like apparently, I don't know. I haven't fished with a Saragosa salt water yet. This will be the first. So I have to figure out how hard I can pull it, what the limits are I can push it to for the first fish if we hook one. And it's got a pound, apparently 220 pound. Alright guys, we just did another drop now. About 390 out. I got a pony wrapped with fresh sods around it. So hopefully the action the action is here. They got one diamond earlier. Andre dropped the one uh, ragged right in front here, unfortunately reefed him. And then uh, the guys missed another pull now. So I got this one in. Hopefully we can go fast. So the diamonds have been around as you guys saw. Yesterday we did very well here. So hopefully today can be another cracking day. See you guys when we're on that fish. Alright guys, we're on here. 
Myself and Andre for double up. Andre is not on yet, but he's there. I'm going to keep height because I need to clean from the bank. Once I get him over that lip, then I'll go down. Now they feel like a big fish. Definitely a raggy the way he messed around to get him hooked. <laughs> Head shakes. See that? Just want to make sure he's hooked. Guys, gets to fight. There's a few reggies, so Kumara needs one, Tara needs one, then everyone here has caught one. Right, guys, I've 
what is it? I lost my fish there. Yeah? And a nice reggae pool. And uh, it took quite a bit of line before I set the hook. I set it, it took again. And as I started the pool, it came off. I reeled the button and left my bait. Reggie came back for it, second time. And again, set the hook, hooked in the set right. I lost the fish. Yeah, next time. Tomorrow's another day. Come back for more baits. Hopefully I'll get my leg and join the crew. Cheers. Music licensing. The following day, Kumaran was back at Stabel, the rocky area just left of Sharks Bay where we got the fish the previous day. And the raggies were still there. about 15 20 minutes he pulled that fish quite quite hard very difficult yet to develop guys and uh, he did a good job landing it in his bricks there you go so, yeah so Try get another bait in get another fish no problem After releasing that one safely, he was quickly in on another one and made easy work of this one as well. The following morning we made our way back to Sharks Bay again, as Caroline also wanted to get stuck on her reggae. How's it guys? Okay, we're down here at Sharks Bay and Pumula. That's on the right hand side of Stabel. Uh, what is lovely today, it's still got the colour. We've been getting a lot of raggies here, a lot of diamonds. This morning we came out, we drawn the bait. Clint from Cox said he managed to get a nice size uh, smooth hound on a drone bait, which was about 200 out. It didn't go too far, just behind the bank. And there was one raggy that was caught on the throw bait, off the point at Sharks Bay. And then one raggy lost on the drone, which was a really, it looked like a really decent raggy. It took a lot of line, you could see the weights, and unfortunately the guy lost it, the hooks pulled. But yeah, action is here. So we're getting ready now to drop a bait. I actually got a share, the first share that was caught this morning. And basically, I flapped it. I'll show you the baits before we drop. Yeah, water's looking lovely. Uh, surfers out there, so we, we actually can't drone that area. We, only in this one spot. Still a lot of shad coming out, guys. So this is a good spot for shad. And there was one small cob landed this morning as well. So we woke to go tight now. So we just got the batteries on charge for the drone. We're gonna drop a bait, and we're gonna go fast. See you guys soon.
Good morning. Uh, I'm Andrean and you're watching Ace of Ben Fishing. Thank you for watching our channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel and like our videos. That really helps us. Uh, we're out in the sardine run, South Africa. Uh, it's now the 12th of June. And uh, the sardines come and go. Normally our action comes when the net is hap uh, netting happens of the sardines and there's sharks around and the guys get stuck in some, some really good fish. It looks like a big sardine run. Today we're out to south of Stabel uh, on our south coast of Natal. The water is really brown here. We had some serious rains a few weeks back and the water is still sitting here. Our northeast has been blowing for seven days. Going on to ten days, uh, it's still blowing another three to four days, which will keep this water in, keep our sea flat. And there's a lot of sharks swimming around. Uh, Raggy, Zambezis in this area and up north where the sardines were netted the last couple of days. There's some bigger grey sharks as well and some skates. Yes, some skates as well, some diamonds and, and thorntails in this area as well. So yeah, today we are looking to get a bite while there's no netting happening. Um, it's dead quite up the coast. We, uh, we've got a network of people that communicates the netting and what's happening everywhere and so far there's nothing. Um, so a lot of shad uh, coming out in our bays here. Guys are really getting stuck into shed early morning, late afternoon, and in some spots the whole day long, like Margaret Pier and behind us, Pamula. Pamula they netted a week ago. Uh, they dropped 30 crates of sardines afterwards, and also through the netting, a lot of sardines wash in this bay. And with this wind, it kept them stuck and pushed onto the shore here, and that's why we've got the fish activity in this area, and it's a good area to fish right now. So this browner of all cover, color water allows the bigger fish to come in in daytime as well. So a lot of species which is nocturnal like cob and stuff, there's been a lot more caught now in this browner water and uh, the ragged tooth sharks love it to come into this browner water to hunt. Um, they're a very slow moving shark and they snap at their fish or at their prey uh, at a tremendous speed but uh, they'll slowly move on the bottom and hang around banks and anything that comes comes past will get snapped up but they've also obviously been feeding on um, the sardines that stayed behind on this particular shore there's a lot of surfish in the water taking a big risk with this brown water we just saw fins here in casting range which is closer than what they are lying waiting for a, for a wave so yeah big risk they're taking nerves of steel but uh, especially with the bull sharks that's around um, but yeah let's uh, hold thumbs that nothing happens to them there's quite a big bank going out here so better for us to get a bait on the right um, on that bank you can get washed around a bit so rather go to the right the guys have been getting the fish uh, from about with a drone 200 meters plus and casting from the rocks on casting distance been hooking raggies one after another as well difficult fish to land off the rocks because they come straight in and they give you a lot of hassles there in front of the rock to get them up and get them onto the rocks they don't swim away so you can get them or move to the beaches which makes it a lot easier to catch them so in conditions like this we want to get uh, Caroline onto a raggy today as well so for her we get a bait over the back line there just where it gets a bit deeper where they're patrolling up and down and we get a bite on there and it's much easier to land it on the beach here than to have to run around on the rocks another thing that makes the rocks very difficult today there's a lot of anglers currently fishing for shad bluefish tailors and it's known internationally um, this is our season so getting a big fish through their lines and through them is very very hard not to lose it and not to upset them either <laughs> you get a whole bunch of anglers very upset if you start catching sharks there Normally when you pull the shark through the bay, the shad will disappear for a while. They will, most of the time they come back, but um, they do get a bit of a fright, I don't know. Go hide behind a bank or something, or in a gully. Um, so yeah, that's uh, what we are to do today and we'll see. Maybe we get some news of sardines coming out somewhere and we'll shoot up there. But for now, we're just gonna put some baits out here. Thanks for watching.
Hi, good morning everyone. Uh, this whole week there's been sharks coming out from this beach and I haven't had the opportunity to actually come and fish for one myself. So I've been nagging and nagging and nagging Andre. And yeah, so today is the day. Um, we have, like Andre said earlier, there has been some sharks coming out and we also saw some fins swimming around here. So I hope the odds are good. And uh, yeah, Andre is busy getting up and preparing the traces. So uh, yeah, please hold thumbs for me. I haven't caught a fish, a big fish, in a long time. So I'm really, really amped to do this. I've been doing all my warm ups and stuff, so I'm ready for it. And uh, yeah, hold thumbs. Hi guys, so here we have uh, Ivan all the way from Coxted. Um, he just dropped a bait about maybe about an hour and a half ago and he's tight. So it's some good news. He had to run like <laughs> from a long distance away. So is he charging batteries? Yeah, he was busy charging his battery, so yeah. So he's tight now, so let's wait and see. I think it's a grey, huh? Doesn't feel like a grey. Yeah. Uh good early to see what it is. Yeah. I'm still very far out. I dropped the bait about 600 meters, yeah. so we'll see what we can do. Oh, luck, man. But we'll land it. So, yeah, stay tuned. We'll give you more info now. So, I'm actually running now to put another bait and drop another bait because it seems like now the fish is starting to chow. I just got a small diamond just now, so yeah. So, stay tuned. We'll be back. guys so one of the guys on the right hand side of us got a raggy and not even five minutes I just doubled up I tied a bait quickly and I dropped it and I was on so I came for it First fish for the Sardin Run 2021. So we're just getting the blood 
I'm slowly starting to enjoy things. So yeah, hopefully next week and this week will be better. The water looks lovely. The tide is actually pushing now and we've got some nice colour into this bay. So yeah, it's just a problem when you're landing the fish here. There's a steep trough here. But anyway, with the ASFN crew, all good. Thank you so much. Thank you all for watching. It's always a privilege sharing any kind of information that can assist other anglers. Please remember to subscribe, hit the bell notification button so you'll be notified every time we upload a video.